Hello and welcome, this is Ben Adamson from Veeam Software. Today is just going to be a very simple and quick session to show how we do a cold backup and how that can help us do some uh, consistent backup of some esoteric applications. So something for which there's no VSS writer and we're not comfortable doing a scripted type backup using the freeze and thaw scripts that we have leveraged through VMware tools. So I've shut down this system uh, using the vSphere and we're now just going to jump across into our backup server. I've set up a test job here to just back up that machine. So we'll start that job off and when that's complete we'll come back and have a look at the result. So that backup is now complete. We'll jump in and have a look at the logs so we can see how the processing has taken place. On that individual VM we can see that uh, at the top here we have a notation to say that guest processing was skipped because the VM is powered off so we're not needing to do anything with regard to application awareness essentially because that machine is powered down. A snapshot still created because we need that in order to process uh, all of the data out, out of there. Not much had changed though in this job so we're not really seeing much movement of data or anything like that. But for our purposes we have a new snapshot, a new addition to the backup and that'll now allow us to try out some different restore scenarios. So if we come across to where we have that backup in our uh, disk we can stand up an instant recovery so that means that we can um, bring back that VM into production using the uh, deduplicated compressed read-only backup file and that we'll essentially have that VM back up and running very quickly. So I'm going to start that processing and then I'll, I'll come back to you when it's ready. With the processing and publishing of that instant recovery complete, we've now got that machine into our environment, still running off that read-only backup file, but you can see here the times around that are very short. We then waited a little bit of extra time for the OS to actually boot up, and we can now jump in to see here we've got uh, alongside our, our powered down machine, we've now got a powered up temporary version of that machine. We can send an old control delete, uh, do a bit of a log on here, so you can see that machine's up and running uh, and we've got no issues with logging on. So we'll just jump back and what we'll do is we'll tidy that up, we'll jump into our running um, instant recovery and we're going to stop that session. Just do it through here actually, stop publishing. So that's just going to dismount that machine, uh, pack it all up and delete any differential files it created. So essentially just going back to having that same backup file that we had before we started the session. Okay, so we'll close that down. Now the other scenario that we'll cover off is the restore of an individual file. So if we have a look at our same backup file here, go to restore guest files just ensuring that we can mount that snapshot for the purposes of pulling a file out. So it's going to mount the same sort of my computer window that you would have with a snapshot type view and then we can browse down through here if we need to grab any data, copy and paste that back out, take it to our production environment. Uh, so that's just nice and neat for us. The other main restore scenario that we would need day to day is the, the restoration of uh, VM files. So that's from a data store view, uh, the files that constitute a VM. You can also specifically grab the VMDKs, the hard disks of the VM. So I hope that's uh, given you a little bit of extra background on how you can back up, uh, shut down VMs, cold VMs, and how you can take them into your Veeam backups, and how you can then work with those files, work with those backups, and how that doesn't really restrict the functionality. If you were to do this day to day, you might want to use Orchestrator to automate that functionality, and essentially give you an extension across those machines, which might have some issues in terms of consistency of backup if they're running an esoteric app, which needs a little bit of extra work. Uh, in terms of having to have the machine shut down when the when the machine is backed up. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. My uh, Twitter is at Ben Veeam, and also you can contact us via support or via the website. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.